welcome back. I'd like to talk to you about vitamin K2. Vitamin K2 is not widely known. Uh, in fact, a lot of us probably have never heard of it, but vitamin K2 is essential for, for health. We all know that uh, vitamin D is important for absorbing calcium from our foods. Uh, and vitamin D obviously is an essential vitamin. It's really important, not only for calcium, but for a lot of things. But for calcium, it's essential. Without it, we will not be absorbing uh, calcium and other minerals very efficiently. So vitamin D is great, it's essential. It helps us absorb calcium from our foods. Once, ca once it's absorbed, it's in the bloodstream. Now, at that point, you need another vitamin. You need K2 to shift that calcium from the bloodstream into, uh, into bones and teeth. Otherwise, it will get deposited on the, on the arteries, on the inside of the arteries, and it will get deposited into soft tissues and joints and, you know, places where it shouldn't be deposited. So, word to the wise, whenever you're taking vitamin D, especially if you're taking large quantities of vitamin D, large doses of vitamin D, which is, which is a good thing, you also need to be taking vitamin K2 at the same time. If you don't take vitamin, vitamin K2 and, uh, and calcium gets deposited on the, on the walls of your arteries, that's, that's a step towards atherosclerosis and that's a step towards heart disease. We don't wanna do that. So it's essential you get vitamin K2. K2 in our foods, uh, is, is in, in most people throughout the world do not get the kind of food that has sufficient quantities of vitamin K2. Fermented foods are the sort of foods that have it in large quantities and we don't get enough of those. You know, like uh, fermented cheese, the most reliable way of getting it is through supplementation. And that's it. I, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again. Have a great day.